Hi Crafty Cuties, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very quick and rapid review and first impression on this Scotch Thermal Laminator. I picked this up at Target. It was on sale for $17.99. The regular price I believe is $19.99. Walmart does carry this one as well. Um, I have used one of these with some help at a planner meetup, but this is the first time I will be using it by myself. Um, so I will have a link down below where you guys can get this if you wanna pick one up. Um, I have already taken it out of the box, obviously, and I pulled up the tray right here in the back. You just have to pull up, however, my little levers here did pop right off. I believe that I will be able to pop these right back on, hopefully, but I was just going to figure it out afterwards because basically all of these are for is if you are using a smaller pouch, you go ahead and pull these into the desired size. But I am going to be using the letter size pouches which take up this entire tray, so I'm not going to worry about it now, but kind of a bummer for something to fall apart the first moment you use it. However, I don't think that's anything that will affect um, the machine. So, I am also using the Scotch Thermal Laminating Pouches here. I do have the five mil size. I was looking for 10 mil to make planner covers, but I don't see those in stores. I believe they have to be purchased online, possibly, maybe. <laughs> but um, I, I got these actually at Walmart, and I was going to get the Walmart brand because, or the generic brand at Walmart. However, they didn't have the five mil thickness, so I did go ahead and get these Scotch. Those are come with 25 packs, and it was $9.99. Um, so basically all you need to do is turn on your machine, press the power button, select three mil or five mil. Now I'm not too sure what to do if you are using a 10 mil laminating pouch, but possibly you would just run it through a couple times. I don't know too much on that. So basically right now I am going to be making a planner dashboard. All I did was cut out two pieces of paper that um, measure the happy planner size and I glued them back to back so that this is double-sided. I'm also going to make a few bookmarks, so I have those already, and I will put a bunch of bookmarks in one pouch. Um, I do recommend if you are doing something smaller to do a few things in one pouch and get the most use out of it. So now I am just going to open up my pouch here and put the planner dashboard in here. Let's see here, just go like this, and you just want to make sure that you have it all the way down to the bottom. Now I probably could fit a tiny bookmark in here too, but for the first time I'm just going to go ahead and do just this. I'm going to give myself a little room on the edge here so I can decide if I want to put that side in the Happy Planner or I can trim it down. So you do trim these down after you run it through the pouch. So you will still use a full pouch even if your item is smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to place it in the back. And it's supposed to grab it on its own. So just kind of wait until you feel it feeding through. And you can see it's going through on its own. It did recommend that if you have a thicker item, you can run it through twice or you may need to. So you can just take a look afterwards and see if there are any air bubbles. My now, can you go outside with me? I'll come outside in just a minute, bub. Alistair is dying to get outside. It's a 90 degree day today, so um, I'm definitely going to bring some of my work outside. So you don't want to pull on this or anything like that. I think that's probably a given, but it did say that and I love how this really really intensifies the color of your item um, I don't know it just makes it a lot more vibrant so pretty so that looks pretty good um, I don't think I will run it through again because I don't think I need to so now I would just trim this off and be good to go 
So for a first impression, I think this machine's going to be excellent. Like I said, I'm a little bummed that these pieces fell right off, but I don't think that's really going to make a difference in how it works for me. I think it's an excellent price also, and I think you can do a lot with laminating machines. Um, I do have a bunch of foiling pieces, and I don't use them too often because they work much better if you use a laminator. So now that I have this laminator, I will probably get more into foiling things. And that's pretty exciting. So I hope this review was helpful to you guys. Let me know if you guys have any fun or cool projects that you use your laminator for that you can pass on to us crafty cuties. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. I will talk to you later. Love you guys, bye.